Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a program which I've already shown you and here I'm just going to enter some numbers, enter standard deviation, number of agents, uh, let's make it 250, why not? And so as you can see we have a bunch of these agents as I call them here, but um, basically they can kill each other by stabbing each other and when one kills another one he gets to make a copy of himself and basically they uh, the copy has a small mutation and if that copy if that small mutation is good for the copy then it'll produce more copies of itself because it'll kill more if it's by good for i mean it'll it becomes a murderer basically if, if it if it kills more it makes more copies of itself basically it's natural selection it's pretty straightforward and yeah they kill by sticking their stabby bit into the body of another one as you can see there you can see it happen sometimes here there that guy just killed that other guy that guy just killed that guy um, that guy just got killed and whenever they're killed like I said their brains are copied and also um, yeah their brains are copied and then they get just get teleported somewhere around in the vicinity um, so that you can't just kill them over and over again right so there we have uh, all these guys and if I press P I can speed up the simulation here it says death toll uh, 11,000 and it also says deaths per second and which is 3,209 when that's when I press pause when I not it's not really pausing the simulation but it's pausing the rendering of it it's actually speeding up the simulation as you can see when I run it it's not using all my CPU but when I press P and I stop rendering I just go full into simulation mode and it's simulating as fast as it possibly can the other thing that you might notice, they have colors now, and the colors are basically just um, whenever a copy is made, uh, the color is changed by a small amount. And so um, two guys who, well, what do you call it, share a similar color are more likely, definitely more likely to be related to each other. So if we run it for a long time, these colors, they start off at gray, but they start to drift a lot more. And as you can see, purple is dominating right now but you'll see other strains like come out and uh, will compete and as you can see we have like beige and purple and yeah the closer they are to each other in color then they're probably more uh, they're probably related because when they copy each other just a small change is made to a color so the color will gradually drift around but um, yeah pretty cool that you can actually see the species now a little bit so we have green versus uh, purple. Oh, green looks like green's dominating a little bit more now. So one of the issues I had before was in order for these guys to get the inputs to the neural network, um, I have to calculate what their two nearest neighbors are. Um, because as you can see in the dude, his behavior is defined by his neural network, which is called brain. It's a variable. And I can brain.compute and in goes the senses and out goes the output and the output the senses are his own velocity the relative angle of his neighbors and uh, just a bunch of stuff like his neighbors a, a is one of his neighbors and a and b so he has two closest neighbors a and b and normally if you just uh, were to try and find those by going through all of the other dudes and seeing uh, which one's the closest that is not efficient, so I used a KD tree, and a KD tree looks sort of like this. It's got, this is like the representation of a tree form, but this is how you split up space, and you basically uh, search um, blocks that have a possibility of having a closer point. So you kind of traverse through the tree. If I wanted to say find the closest point to um, a point over here, I would go left, and my bounding box would go over here and then I would go anyway point is KD tree super nice other thing I changed I made it so their um, positions and their uh, angle changes much more smoothly now because uh, I don't know if you noticed before they could snap around to any angle and it was all based on absolute coordinates and absolute um, not not so much they had absolute positions but the point is it, it the inputs, the senses of the agents were not relative to their own orientation. Now they are relative to their own orientation. I wonder if they'll uh, get out of green. That's stuck at green. Uh, it's definitely going to change slowly. Hmm. 
but yeah it's just kind of fun to watch and this over here is the uh, champion kill cam so you can see him moving around um, from his perspective I was gonna expose like his sort of controls like his outputs so you could see you can see his inputs clearly are what his neighbor is doing and how he's moving but the outputs could be like some buttons here and maybe you could play against them I don't know but uh pretty cool you can see them dancing around trying to kill each other I'm gonna pause that for a second and go over anything else yeah now you can change the the so basically like I said when a copy is made some small changes are made to the neural network and those changes is adding a small amount to the one of the weights in the matrices and one of like one of the weights in the neural network and one of the biases and the amount that it changes it is uh, in a normal distribution with an average of zero but a variation a standard deviation and you can change what that standard deviation by pressing up and down as you can see I'm turning up the standard deviation so now when it makes a mutation it's gonna be a bigger change whoa we have different colors now but yeah so now uh, now when it makes a mutation it's gonna be a bigger change I wonder if they change colors faster if you do that because their colors aren't directly re related to their behavior they just drift with the behavior alongside. But, uh, and then you can turn it down and you can get more, I find you can get more refined movements if you use, if you make smaller changes. It's kind of refining his motion, I would say, by adding smaller and smaller amounts until it uh, falls into a local minima and is perfect, the most perfect killing machine. Which, honestly, for this uh, neural network thing, it basically, it's like a point, it's a point and uh, it just points towards the closest neighbor, like that's all it has to do. It just has to look at where it is and push left if he's on my left and push right if he's on my right. So it's probably pretty basic, but they could have different like evasion behavior, like what to do when there's somebody behind you. There's definitely a lot of, uh, you can see them getting repelled by, like if there's somebody behind him, he's like, ooh, he kind of runs away. As you can see, all these these are different species. Let's see if these brown guys last. If I just uh, run it, speed it up. Nope. Oh, there's still some kind of brown guys. But yeah, you can see all these species. I think that's beautiful. Look at that. And we can refine their movements. I wonder if I yeah, if I turn down this number, would their colors differentiate less, or would they become even more differentiated? Who knows maybe it has no difference so when you make it super fine and they're adding super small amounts they seem to learn to avoid each other in general I'm gonna add the smallest amount possible which is 0 5 standard deviation so now they're not adding almost nothing they're almost not mutating at all when they make a copy so they should be making some very fine adjustments and as you can see look at look at the way he moves it's quite precise I'd say Let's uh, pause and play. The problem is that whenever he makes a copy of himself, now he has to fight against a copy of himself, which is just as precise as him. So uh, a lot of the fights are going to be pretty much an even match. Let's see what happens like when we have two different colors going at each other. The brown came out on top. 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 I bet the brown's going to... If we, we go forward in time, the brown's going to get more popular now. But yeah. Pretty sick. I like it. Oh, they've learned to basically just fully repel each other now. A lot of them are probably going to be starving to death now. Because there are not as many kills. It says deaths per second. Still a pretty high number, 5,000. Not bad. I find, uh, I think that a higher deaths per second. It's good that I added the KD tree to find the nearest neighbors because it means that I can add way more agents and they can still... Uh, still run the simulation faster and more agents uh, more di diversity more speciation probably and also um, you know more deaths happening more change happening in general so it's it's definitely good for this number deaths per second more deaths per second means more mutations happening more changes happening and hopefully more progress towards a better solution to the problem of surviving and uh, there you are thanks for watching guys um, pretty cool Pretty cool program and uh, have a good one.